When I was that uh, five-year-old boy, I remember the humiliation of the giggles and the sniggers. It was horrible. When I was 12, being left on that wall, I can't even think of the words to describe the horror of that. And it's, you know, if people laugh at me now, I've still got some sort of anchor to that, which is a sad thing. But it's nearly there. It's now I've nearly got it sorted out. When I was 16, I got three O-levels. I failed miserably at school because of a lot of this. And I remember my mum going to the head teacher with me, dragging me in, demanding that I go into sixth form. And he says, no chance, get him out, get him out. So they kicked us out. It was not pleasant. At 18, I couldn't introduce Professor Brown to four students. That was the, the most scared I've ever been, I guess. At 25, I joined a professional basketball team in Sunderland. Within six weeks, I had a slip disc. My career was over. I managed to play for two years and we won the big championship, but it was devastating to, I, I dreamt of my dream of playing professional sport all my life. I got there within six weeks, it was almost over. That was tough to take. Because I believe it's how you respond to everything that hits you on a daily basis across your life that counts. At 33, I went through my first divorce. At 44, I went through my second divorce. My first hip replacement, full left side. I went personally bankrupt and I was made redundant all in one year. That was a tough year. At 55, I went through my second hip replacement, my right hand side. Went through my second redundancy. At 56, I set up JD Mind Coach. Things were looking great. I thought, yes, until I realised I had to decorate a lot. <laughs> but um, it was a tough, tough time. It was a very tough time because it is how you respond to things that counts. And at 57, I had my first heart operation. At 58, I had my second and third heart operation. The third one worked, thank goodness. I'm fitting well now. But it was tough to take. At 59, I met Julie. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Love of my life. Last year, I married Julie. And it's fantastic because I'm not giving up. Now, you know what? There are more tough times ahead in the next 18 years. But I'm ready for them. I'm ready to take them on. Because it's not how you start in life that counts. But it's how you finish. That's really important. And when I was that 12-year-old boy... I remember trying to spin that basketball and uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because it was so hard. But I think there's two things that's really important in success. Number one is working hard on the right stuff. And number two is never giving up. So I didn't give up. I went back to it. And week after week, month after month, this little boy, this skinny runt, kept going, kept going. He thought, if you can just do it, just do it once. Maybe have one friend, just one friend. And he kept going. And eventually he got there. Yeah. <laughs> And he got there, and now he can do it. And what it did, it actually did help me. I did start to get more popular in the school, and it helped my confidence. But I use this as an analogy. And what it is, is that anything in my business now I think is impossible. I said, no, hang on. I thought this was impossible. It took me two years, but I did it. So I, I, I've gone for stuff now, like Dubai, to any, any person would think, why are you doing that? That's crazy. But I'm going out for a second time. I've got a, a training session with UKTI over in Abu Dhabi. And it's, starting to, it's just starting a little bit. But it's getting exciting. But I also love working individually with people. Because like I said before, it's not how you start in life that counts. It's how you finish. Thanks very much.